Now I've got this template here to make these beautiful bows. Now this is the template, there's various ways that you can use it and also there's various sizes. A good way of using them is to use a double sided paper which if you're printing from a CD or a download you can do quite easily and it's really good so you get your two tone papers. From that size, that's that one again, show you the template, see that's the big full size there. That one makes this size of bow as you can see and it looks like a really good bow. Now these are the different sizes I've cut these out to make these bows with. I'll show you how to make those in a minute. From the large one right down to the tiniest little one there as you can see a little little one there. Put those there but you can see the sizes. This is your biggest one. Then we're going down here and the great thing about this you can do them for Christmas, Easter, weddings, anything you want and you've got another size here. Then it goes to this size and then this one and this one even got parchment here, parchment one, got a little red bow there and we've also got a very little gold one there made from the smallest uh, smallest template. Very simple and easy to make so let's show you. So the template that I've chosen is this one, this is the largest one. I've also as I showed you a piece of paper, now you can use any paper if you want but it's good if you can print it uh, different designs or the same design on each side it just makes it look really good or choose a paper or a card that's double sided the same colour. Now before I start cutting out I like to trim my template just to make it easier to stick down and cut out as well so I'll just cut that out simple along there roughly don't nothing nothing posh at this stage so that's going to go on there. Then you can decide which you want the inside or the outside. It doesn't really match too much on this template because you can swap them around. But I'm going to put it onto this side here. And then I'm just going to use a little bit of masking tape to hold this down. And use enough tape so that when you're cutting out, when, once you've cut past the bits that are done, they're not going to hold it in securely. So you need to put a little bit of tape all the way along each side there just to hold it as you're cutting it. A little bit more there. Now you can use this masking tape again if you if you pull it off gently and you can use the template again too. You can pull the whole thing off, save that on another piece of paper and use it anytime you like. And to make it easier to cut out I generally just cut this sheet off like that making it much easier that can go to one side to use again. Now before I start cutting it's a good idea, in my opinion, because it's what I like to do. You've got the dotted lines here, and this is where you crease it. Now, if you do that before you cut it out, it makes it much easier. And I've just got a mat underneath, and I'm just taking an embossing tool, but you could use any blunt instrument, as long as it's small enough. And then just go down there, and you're making a crease so that when you cut it out, it folds exactly where you want it to fold. There you go, so I've done those. Now all I have to do is cut it out. So I've got the template here, now I can put that to one size and use that uh, time and time again if I want to. Now because I've already creased those, made the little indentations, this should fold over fairly easy. So that one goes there, then that one folds back on the little bit there, and then that folds over there, and that folds over there. Then when you turn it over, you've got your finished bow, like that. Now if you wanted to, you could fold it that way, and that way back, and that way and that way back. Then you've got the larger design on the outside to make your bow entirely, it's entirely up to you how you want to do that. But I like to put a little bit of glue on this one as well. So I've got my, I've got my glue here, just going to take the top off there like so. And it's good to use a good glue because you want it to stick down fairly easy. I just put a little dab of the glue in there and then hold that one down and then just a little bit of glue there. And I'm going to put my lid back on fairly quickly because I don't want it oozing out. Pop that back there. Then that one just holds down there like so. And then when you turn it over, it stays in position more. 
Now, if you want to make this look less flat, I just kind of just put in there a little pencil or a pen or something like that and just roll it, roll it around so you're kind of making that little bit more rounded like you can see that's flat, that's quite rounded and pop in the other side, it helps if we just push the edge in there and again just roll it around and roll it over the top, you can do it much better than I can because I'm doing it upside down but this way you can see you've got more of a rounded, a rounded bow you can see how that pushes up there and you can make it a little bit more 3D you might want to put some foam pads under there so it raises it more but as I say you can either have it that way round or you could do it with that bit in the back but when you open it up inside there it's a good idea to print both sides because you can see inside there you've got the different pattern so that shows you how simple it is to make those beautiful bows